Hey everybody, Brian Garcia, Meteorologist, National Weather Service, San Francisco Bay Area, Monterey Bay regions. We have a busy weekend in store for the Bay Area and the Central Coast. So let's get right to it. First thing is the overall pattern. We have a significant October system rolling into our area. This is going to bring uh, wind, rain, and big surf. And if you're interested in the big surf, we'll talk about that in another video. So more to come on that one. So this system's gonna roll across the Bay Area, really starting the early parts, the really um, early parts of Sunday morning, and maybe even the late PM hours of Sunday night. So we're gonna see that really start to impact North Bay, and then it's gonna drag across down through the core of the Bay Area and down into the Central Coast. So what does this mean? That means we're gonna see winds start to manifest themselves late Saturday night out of the south. So we could see some gusty winds, but those winds are really gonna ramp up as we hit that midnight hour and going into the early a.m. hours of Sunday. And those winds are gonna translate as that front moves. We'll see those peak winds drag down the coast. Once we get behind the front, the winds will tail off and it, things should calm down quite a bit. So with the winds, we do have a wind advisory out for the entire region following that front. So early a.m. hours up in North Bay and then uh, the a.m. hours into the early p.m. hours for the core of the Bay Area, and then the late afternoon hours through the uh, nighttime hours, uh, nighttime p.m. hours of Sunday for the Central Coast. And we could see winds of uh, 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts in the valleys and 50 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts up in the hills. So think of garbage cans being blown down the street, um, branches coming off of trees, whole trees coming down. This is a very dangerous situation. So make sure that you prepare your place now for these winds. The next thing is the rain. The rain is also gonna accompany this front and actually we'll get some prefrontal rain, especially up in North Bay through the day on Sunday. So look for those uh, rain rates to be light to moderate for the most part during the day on Sunday um, or during the day even on late Saturday. And then on Sunday, as that front slides across, we're gonna see some high intensity rain rates. So as this front slides across the area, we could see rain rates of upwards of an inch, inch plus an hour coming across some areas. The highest impacted areas will be the coastal mountains. So think of the Sonoma coastal mountains like Venado, uh, Mount Tam down in Marin, and then the Santa Cruz mountains down in uh, San Mateo County and in Santa Cruz County, and then down on the central coast, Big Sur, uh, the Santa Lucias there are gonna get hammered with some pretty high intensity rain rates. Overall, the rain totals, especially in the mountains, we could see anywhere from four to six, maybe six to eight inches of rain for this storm total across some of the coastal ranges. Down in the valley, someplace like San Jose, it's probably gonna be more like three quarters of an inch to maybe an inch and a half um, if the rain actually manifests itself there because they do get rain shadowed. So with all that rain and the high intensity rain rates that are gonna be with that front, we do have a flash flood watch out for all of our 2020 burn scars. So think of the LNU, the glass, the CZU, the, S, the SCU, um, I, I know I'm forgetting some, the Dolan, the River, the Carmel, all those burn scars out there. We do have a flash flood watch out for those for potential mud flows and post wildfire debris flows. So this is something we'll be watching very closely throughout the day on Sunday. So it's a, gonna be a busy Sunday. Make sure that you get your prep done early Saturday before the winds even come up and get ready to uh, stay home on Sunday and enjoy your day inside. It might be a cleaning day inside. Oh yeah, be ready for power outages too. Because if the power goes out, you know, you need some flashlights and stuff. So anyhow, all that to say, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, take care of your pets, and make sure you be good to one another. See ya.